400 days ago, I started my Animal Crossing New Horizons journey. So much has happened to my island since I started. Over like 50 villagers have lived on my island. Oh my gosh. So many buildings like McDonald's and Burger King and Target have been on my island. And of course, so much drama and events and just decoration and... Oh my gosh, my island has been through so many transformations. So today, I'm going to be doing a trip down memory lane and show you what has happened on my island from day 1 to day 400. We'll go for the first few days, then we'll go to day 30, then day 50, then day 100, day 200, and oh my gosh, every single season, how my island has changed from design to villagers and more. So let's get started with day 1. And not to make this a somber video, but by the end of the video, I will announce one of my villagers are leaving the island forever. Stand by to the end of the video to hear out who that villager is. On day one of my Animal Crossing Island, I welcomed two villagers, Sherry and of course, Frobert. I loved them so much and Sherry stayed for quite a while. Sadly, Frobert didn't stay for too long. I of course, you can see right here, Timmy and Tommy are here, the amazing Tom Nook, and there's boxes everywhere and it feels so weird to look back at the start of my island when it was so bare bones. When I started my Animal Crossing Island, most of you were not here. I only had 30,000 subscribers and now I'm at 120. 120,000. Okay, I didn't lose 30,000. I gained. Okay, no, I'm kidding. But anyways, <laughs> um, I have Frober here. I have so much weeds. I mean, honestly, I probably have more weeds on my island right now than I do even when, you know, I you know started my adventure I have so many weeds and it's just so interesting to see just all these trees and uh, I, I think my island might have been better off without me because my island looks like a mess now which you'll see obviously later in the video then of course I welcome my third villager who was Silvana she was the cutest squirrel villager in the entire world she's one of the villagers I miss the most see you later squirrel friend we also had the legendary Broccolo, who I love so much. He's a lazy uh, little mouse villager, and he's so cool, too. And then I invited a bunch of my subscribers. It was the first time I had anyone on my island. I invited my friends from real life, and I opened my gates to all my subscribers, and they went wild. They started hitting me and while I was talking to my villagers, and it was all so new and exciting here. I was like, oh my gosh, this game is so beautiful. You can hang out with your friends. You can do all these fun things. Oh, I was so struck with like excitement and stuff. Sherry was like the mother to my island. She was so, and you know, she is the big sister type too, which makes sense. She always kind of kept us in line. Here's me and one of my closest friends. We were uh, playing Animal Crossing together for the first time with some of my viewers and they trapped us in this mermaid thing and it was so much fun. I mean, it wasn't fun in the moment, let's be honest. I was stuck, I was getting frustrated, but. <laughs> Looking back at it, it was like, oh, that's so much fun. He was like, oh, you're trapped as he's trapping me. And we just kept getting trapped everywhere we went. We kept getting trapped. And, uh, you know, it was such a fun chaos. I feel like, you know, the chaos and the energy of having people on your island was so much fun when the game started. And this was now on day eight. So, you know, we're going by fast now. Let's now move on to the next little time skip. This is day 20. And as you can see, my island changed so much. I have Blanche who's sitting down right now. I miss Blanche so much. And of course, the stone QR code that I downloaded and I plastered all over my island. I think it looks pretty cool. It almost looks better than what I have going on my island right now. Uh, but it looks so cool. And you can see the flowers flowing. It was early spring. Uh, it was so cool. She's eating her donut just relaxing by a stone. I don't really know if it's that relaxing. She probably can't see the water with that stone blocking her. But here I am right away from the tarantula. And she's <laughs> Sherry left me out to dry. She said, good luck with that thing. You better, you know, we can talk later, but you should get, you know, situated with that thing. And I ran, I ran. I remember, like, even, like, the slightest, like, oh, my gosh, poor Keaton just sitting there watching. I used to, oh, my gosh, I wanted him out of the village, and I saw on Twitter that's how it helped. Apparently, locking up your villagers like that actually doesn't help getting them, like, moved out, I heard. I don't know. Uh, in Animal Crossing, there's always so many different theories and different ideas people have, and they always contradict each other. Here's Broccolo who was sleeping oh I that's the thing about Animal Crossing when I first got the game you know we're only on day 20 right now everything was just so funny and fresh you know from tarantulas 
following you everywhere you go to your villagers sleeping like everything was just so funny so energetic and so interesting and i really wish i could go back and experience the first time all this stuff happened back then this is day 30 now and there is a lot of controversy on this day because i accidentally had klaus move on to my island i wanted someone else and then i try to get him out and then this happened we <gasps> that is so so I just kicked him out. <laughs> I just kicked him out from my island. And he said, I don't think we've met him. I haven't even met him yet. Oh my gosh. I seriously kicked him out and I never even talked to him. Oh, I felt so bad. I was like, I gotta treat my villagers nicer after this. Uh, here's Keaton. I had a nice little storefront here with the stone. I really like this stone pattern. I mean, I really used it up. <laughs> I really used it up. And uh, now we're about 30 days into my Animal Crossing island. And you can see I had Blue Bear and Keaton and Apple and Pom Pom joined. Of course, they're legendary. And uh, I, I would never get rid of them. Uh, they're still on my island. Island. We're now time skipping to day 50 and that's when I beat the game and as you can see those were all my villagers I also got Zucker blue bear and bubbles and uh, this is when things started getting chaotic on my island It was day 50. I definitely didn't beat the game by any means But I definitely was starting to get a little bit like okay I gotta I gotta do something wild now So I started doing wild things on my island I made all of it desert and sand which I'm trying to do again soon I really like the desert and sand vibe and like, you know Really coastal sandy beaches and this is when Keaton left and things went wild because look what happened Oh my gosh, look who I found and behind the gorgeous blades of grass, I found him, Raymond. I remember the day I found Raymond. It was like, you know, performing at the Super Bowl. Like, it was such an event. Everyone was going wild in my chat. And having Raymond on my island was very fun for the short while that it happened. Uh, I gave him a hot dog suit. And then, well, <laughs> day 80 came by. Oh, no. Is that Apollo? I mean, I know it's, I know it's Apollo. So I definitely want him. I need a cranky villager. Mend, Raymond. I was caught into a crossroad. I kind of wanted to give away Raymond. I kind of felt weird having him on my island and uh, I let him go. I let Raymond go in, a, in exchange for Apollo. Then came day 90 and I did this little video. I don't know if anyone saw, remembers this one, but I made like a fake Animal Crossing like fan made update where like I had new paths and stuff and I thought it was so cute. You can see all of the uh, transformations my island had because um, you know, I had all the sand and I had, it was very watery. It was the summertime. It was June, I think, at this point, and it was very summery. I had water, and it was raining, and it was sandy and stuff. Oh, and it was so much fun. It was so much fun, and I might go back to it because I love the water vibes, and I really miss them. And then I started going into my, like, okay, it was, like, day 100 now. Yeah, we're time skipping officially to day 100 now. And as you can see, all these amazing villagers I had, Marina, Blanche, and Rosie, all of them are gone now. And this is when the chaos started to happen. I started making like wild challenges with my villagers and stuff that I still make to this day. Uh, I think I'm you know reinvent my channel a little bit you know and do more new things. Uh, I still do these challenges and it's it's really wild to think it was day 100 in Animal Crossing when I started these challenges and now it's day 400 and I'm still doing them. Uh, but you know we've done new things ever since then. We're now at day 130 and uh, I guess you know the changes on my island kind of slowed down a bit at this point. I was just doing a bunch of the challenges challenges and hanging out with my villagers uh, but it was still very tropical for the summer it was still summertime here I think now it's like July ish and I started making like a concert venue you can see right there and uh, it was just fun hanging out with my villagers over the summer doing things and then I started going a little bit more on a different route my villagers have kind of had to go through it uh, because I started doing skits 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 I did like little shows and this and that and the other and make my villagers do fun things and in this video I made my three peppy villagers Rosie 
Apple and Pom Pom. It was legendary. They made a girl pop group uh, and it was so much fun. I was like so into uh, Blackpink at the time. Uh, I still love Blackpink and I was like listening to them every day and I was like, oh my gosh, I want to like turn my uh, Animal Crossing villagers into like a all girl pop group too. Uh, so yeah, I loved it so much. I made this super cool performance area. This might be the prettiest thing I've ever made on my island period because I really 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 liked it. It was so cute. It had stars and glitter and shine and pink lights and it like looked real. It looked like it was actually like a thing they would like perform and do and of course they sang and danced and it was so much fun. And on day 150, I started making the challenges on my island. I started making arenas and basically my entire island was one big competition reality show setting. Like it was like we're like on Survivor or on Big Brother or one of those shows like I, you know, my villagers really were fighting for, you know, uh, you know, reality TV stardom. And uh, this was one of my favorite ones ever, just because it was, like, so visually fun to watch. Uh, the try not to stand on lava, or if you walk on lava, you get eliminated. Uh, it was so much fun seeing my villagers, like, compete against each other. Like, Sherry would always dominate, so did Lolly, and they, of course, did really good in this competition. And uh, it was really fun just to see Animal Crossing villagers as if they were, like, real functioning and like characters in the game you know what I mean and they're NPCs but it's fun to look at them like as actual like characters on your island then you can look at my cast list right here I had villagers like Lucky and Cherry and Maggie uh, it was I think this might have been my favorite cast in terms of how they all interacted with each other uh, it was always so much fun I really like these villagers uh, and it was you know a lot of interesting personalities I always have too many peppy villagers on my island that's for sure but um that's a given and then I had this really beautiful walkway it was like pink and purple and it was so cool and then here was another arena I did and I like infused the arena with like a, a restaurant it, you know it, you know if you watch my, v my videos basically none of this really makes that much sense uh, my island is just a playground for random things it is called Nico land after all it's just kind of a it, you know, just random stuff always happens. Then day 175, we're not even at the halfway point yet, which is really weird because I feel like we're almost like done with the transformation of the island, but we're only, we're not even halfway done. So as you can see, I didn't really ever do anything too much with my villagers like living in their residence, like outside their houses and stuff. And that's one big thing I did change as time went on. As you can see here, I did a singing challenge. I really used up this uh, singing platform I made for like a good like two months. Uh, it's now torn down. You'll see later in the video, but yeah. And then as you can see, I had this railroad thing. Like I was really into railroads randomly. Like in September, I was like, I want to turn my island into railroads. And and really dirt like I wanted a lot of dirt and like uh, I wanted to seem like an out west like uh, you know like a cowboy movie or something like that and I was really obsessed with that and mushrooms and like fossils and all that and it looked really cool I like that little era I had and then day 200 is when the probably my favorite time of Animal Crossing thus far which was the Halloween period everything was spooky i mean they really went all out with the items from the pumpkins to all of the items and the 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 glitz and the glamour and uh the skins they added like uh, you can kind of dress up as like a vampire and you can like color your eyes and Oh, I just love turning myself into like a vampire demon every day and like I just I love Halloween so much And it was so much fun with my villagers can't escape me that long I then did my demonic wrath one more time and she became a demon too and she went Nyaaah! Yeah Halloween was a wild time and I just love how all-out they went with everything and it was so exciting and also like the fall too like not only was it just pumpkins and Halloween it was also like very fall too it was all the fall stuff you would ask and, and want for here are all the villagers I had at the time too during Halloween it was a very interesting time I had a lot of cats I had Mary and Lolly I had Bam and Tex and I started making my island a little bit more folly and festive and 
you know, harvesty. Ah, I love the fall so much. Um, I love so many seasons. I love the summer. I love the fall. And as you can see, I decorated my island with a bunch of different Halloween decorations and patterns and uh, it was so much fun. I think this is the most balanced my Animal Crossing Island was. It just felt felt like everything was at ease and everything was normal and fine. And I loved like dressing up as the jack-o'-lantern. Uh, and I, uh, it was just so much fun. This was also the start of, oh, oh you, I love this big land bridge. I had the start of my island too. And it, it went in so many different pathways and stuff. But anyways, this is when I started doing the challenges where like the last villager to wake up leaves the island and sadly Tex had to go, but maybe I'll see him again some other day. Then day 250, we're finally like a little bit above the halfway point now. And this is when I started making McDonald's and Taco Bell and... It was really, really wild. I had ketchup on my island, which was too perfect because, of course, McDonald's, Burger King, ketchup. Oh, it was just always too fun. I dressed up as ketchup while I was making a Burger King. Literally, it was a McDonald's. Next door to the McDonald's was a Burger King. Next uh, next door to the Burger King was a Taco Bell. Next to the Taco Bell was a, um, a Starbucks. And then next to them was a Walmart. I literally... It, I went from... Uh, my island went from a Nico playground to a capitalist playground where literally half my island became <laughs> literally I can't have never thought about until just now but half my island at a point in time was dedicated to fast food <laughs> I guess that shows who I am as a person I do love fast food a lot and I guess that translates to my Animal Crossing island and it felt fun I didn't really see too many people making videos like this on YouTube so I was like oh be fun to do why not and of course I invite my villagers there and they'd hang out and try the food obviously they can't actually try the food but it was always just so much fun then oh my gosh this was like kind of becoming the end of the fall and Halloween saga but I did not end it on a soft note, I ended on a big note. I put spiders everywhere on my island. I put the Halloween decorations everywhere. Spider webs literally collected everywhere. It's like, you know, when you leave your house and you come back after a vacation and there is spider webs everywhere. Oh my gosh. Or, you know, me when I wake up, there's always spider webs in my apartment. It's so sad. But I guess, you know, I don't have too many friends, especially after COVID. I don't really talk to too many people. So at least I got the spiders. Am I right? Anyways. <laughs> Speaking of spiders, I had a Spider-Man video where I decorated my island like as Spider-Man. I like just watched Spider-Man for the first time, Spider-Man Homecoming and Far From Home. And I was like, oh, perfect time to make Spider-Man on my island, I guess. I don't know. There's Spider-Man. Day 300. And as you can see, it's now winter on my island. I think, you know, winter is always a sad time for me in real life. I don't know why, but where I live, it gets very dark and very cold in the, in the winter. It takes over your life. Winter really is an obstacle where I live. And, um really annoying so I, I was kind of in a down point you know in real life too and I kind of was a little tired from school and everything and um but we still had some fun in the winter we still had some fun in the winter as you can see I, I made more McDonald's I mean you can never get enough McDonald's we had Diana on my island we had some really good villagers like Diana we, we welcomed Judy to my island and uh, Tammy, you know, we had some really classic villagers come to my island. I really like the winter items, too. The snow does look cool. I do like the snow in Animal Crossing. It did get a little tiring after a while. And I know a lot of you agree with me on that, that it did feel like, okay, I can't wait for the snow to go away because it, it kind of takes over your island like it does in real life, too, in a way. We had Marshall. We had Marshall on our island. We got literally classics. We had Raymond on my island, so it only makes sense that we eventually get Marshall, too. Marshall's still on my island, but we'll see what happens with Marshall. We'll see. I told you, a villager of mine is leaving by the end of the video. Anyways, we had Matilda, too, and I love Matilda. And, uh, oh, you know, I do love my villagers so much. Looking back at it, like, it is really cool that you really do get to connect with your villagers when they're on your island. And I'll just look at Marshall and, and Matilda and Matilda's baby eating dinner together at McDonald's. Oh, it's just, I do, I do love my villagers a lot. This was probably one of my weirdest challenges I ever did. Uh, it was called The Last Villager That Sits in McDonald's gets it, their house remodeled to look like McDonald's. It was very weird. I didn't understand it either. Like looking back at it, I'm like, uh, that's an interesting video. I really, you know, had my villagers compete in a McDonald's so they could get a McDonald's makeover. 
It looked cool though. I mean, you can't you can't judge me on that. It did kind of look cool. The the red and the yellow outside Matilda's house. She won the challenge, so she got the McDonald's makeover. Uh, it ended up looking pretty dang sweet. I'm not gonna lie. I would I would have a McDonald's right outside my. No, I wouldn't actually. I say that, but then I would get tempted by McChickens every day, and then I'd start to feel bad about myself. So let's uh, let's just move on forward from uh, this McDonald's. Okay, there's no more McDonald's on my island. It had a good 100 days on my island, but McDonald's is gone now. <laughs> but yeah, it was very snowy, and I did a lot of fun challenges with my videos. Uh, in my videos, I did a lot of videos with my villagers at this time. That was very interesting, I guess you could say. Uh, I, I redecorated a lot of people's houses a lot too. This was Bam's house. I redecorated it to look like obviously a gym and sportsy because that's all that Bam cares about. And uh, I did a lot of that. You know, earlier in this video, you can see that I didn't really decorate the outs uh, exterior of my Animal Crossing villagers' houses too much. But in the past 100 days, around the 300 to 350 day mark, I really did... Uh, yeah, now you see right here too, Sherry and Apple's house. I redecorated a lot of villagers' houses to make them look more lived in and make it look like, you know, villagers actually live and hang out on this island. And I think that really does help out your island. If you're struggling, I really think you should start by, like, decorating outside your villagers' houses to make them pop a bit more. As you can see, my Among Us stage is right there too. That was a lot of fun, having Among Us on my island. And uh, we're at the final time skip now. I just did this video where I uh, made a target on my island and the target's great. Like I said, I tore down the McDonald's, I tore down the Taco Bell, I tore down the Starbucks and the Burger King. I tore it all down and created a target and it was a lot of fun and it looks so cool. Go check out that video if you haven't yet. It's my most recent video before this one. I love, love, love the target on my island. This is what it looks like. Doesn't it look sweet? Uh, I also welcomed another new villager to my island recently. That villager is bum ba dum bum 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 Flurry! Yeah, I love Flurry. It was an accident actually, because Fang left my island and then Flurry came on in. So I have Flurry on my island. And now it's time to announce the villager that left my island. Sadly, this villager is great, but he had to go. And it was done, done. Don. It's a male villager who loves rainbows and is a jock. It is Dom. Yeah, Dom wanted to leave and I was okay with it because I'm doing my villager hunts and I'm trying to find new villagers for my island to spice it up a bit. And as much as I love Dom, it is time for Dom to go. I didn't really have a super big connection with him compared to the other villagers. But if you love Dom and you love Fang, I will be doing a little short video where I will be uh, doing a tribute to both of them very soon on my shorts channel. Link in the description and at the end of the video, you can subscribe to my Nikachu shorts video channel. Anyways, that's what my Animal Crossing Island used to look like on day one all the way up to day 400. Hope you really enjoyed this video. It was really fun to go down memory lane and relive all the experiences I had on my Animal Crossing Island. It's really interesting, really weird too, to think that this game has now been over, not only just a year old, but 400 days old. And uh, we really did a lot. We really did a lot in those 400 days. Lots of memories, lots of videos. And of course, I met so many of you who subscribed and, 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 and commented and viewed my videos and streams. And it's been awesome. So I'm really thankful to Nintendo and Animal Crossing, the people who made this game, for letting me have all these opportunities. So thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.